Good morning. We're here in Bentswood Crescent on the rejuvenated eastern side of town. I'm about to show you around a brand new detached chalet style house hidden up this driveway. Um, as you can see, this is an old established area, all generally built in the 1920s and 30s. Um, if you're coming to the property, it's quite hidden away up this driveway. So look for number 16, Bentswood Crescent, at the end of the railings or in between the railings and follow up this driveway. So come up, sir, up the top and I'll show you around. So a small private builder from London has uh, built these uh, two fantastic chalet style houses, very versatile. So you've got um, options for more bedrooms. You've got two bedrooms upstairs and you've got a couple of extra rooms downstairs. So you could have up to four beds if you wanted to, but really speaking, it's a three bedroom house. And the nice thing is they've got a lovely little south facing garden with them as well. So I'm gonna try and get my breath back. So as you can see, we've got two detached houses here. The one we're selling is the one at the back, which has got the best garden in my opinion. What you've got out here is it's all gonna be sort of shared. However, there are two electric, char uh, electric car charging points there. This bit of front garden is probably gonna go with house one. I'm guessing that is house one. And then house two will have the rest of this area here for plenty of parking as well. Okay, so while I'm here, I'm just gonna show you in the garden. So really nice garden. They've done a lot of landscaping. As you can see, they put the retaining wall in as well and this nice little terrace. The back garden, I've measured it on average, not the whole length, but it's about 40 feet from almost at the end to the back of the house here. Plus you've got this additional bit of space down the side and a nice sunny aspect. And you're just surrounded by other gardens. And down the back, extra bit of space there. Just to handle there and you'll see in a minute we've got a patio that end as well so come inside so they're nearly built they're, there's just doing the final touches now and these have been built over the last year or so so the the developer has actually gone through all the snagging options as well so let's come in and close the door firstly great big entrance hall with a huge understairs cupboard there downstairs loo all very nicely done and then for me, best room in the house. Look at this fabulous kitchen, living area. Got the bifolding doors out to the gardens. What a great big room. I mean, this is really a lounge stroke dining room and a kitchen really. And as you'll see, we've got natural stone worktops. Apologies, it's a bit echoey in here. All the usual appliances are built in and we've got a utility room. And out here, you've got the gas boiler and all the electric consumer unit. And you'll see here from all this pipe work, it's got a wet underfloor heating system. But really nice kitchen, I must say. What a great room to live in. So that's one of the downstairs rooms. And then you've got two others. So whether these are living rooms, bedrooms or whatever. So we can call this bedroom four or the dining room, whatever you want to call it. But a decent sized room very much geared up for people wanting flexibility. So if you're one of those that works from home, having two bedrooms upstairs and then two rooms down here is great. And this could be the separate lounge or again, another big bedroom. And you've got quite high ceilings on the ground floor. And that's that patio I was talking about. So leading out there, understairs, hidey hole in there. And then up on the landing, Pretty cool, you've got this glass panel looking back into the entrance lobby, window to the front, quite a nice big shelf on that side as well, and another deluxe. And then you've got one bedroom here, generous double. So we're just looking over the gardens, they're around on Benswood Road, those houses there. And what quite a fabulous view across to Linfield. That's Oak Hall School in the distance. So school-wise, everything is very close. Um, you can walk to the railway station. I think that's 0.8 of a mile. And then on this level, you've got a bar from here. Really nice. I think the sanitary where they use is really nice. All very tasteful. Great bit of tiling all the way around the bath, all the way around the window. Handy cupboard there. Great for storage. And then another very similar sized bedroom. 
So a great bit of space. So there are two great big bedrooms upstairs, two more bedrooms downstairs, depending on how one you use it. And of course that kitchen living area. And of course the Velux windows. Now, obviously the developer has only put these Velux windows in. I guess that was part of the planning permission. There is a chance if you wanted to put bigger dormer windows in, you probably could if you went back to the planning permission and, and tried to uh, get that changed. So like I said, we're on the east side of town, so you can walk round to Oak Hall Community College. That's a secondary school here in Linfield with its farm. Uh, you can walk into Linfield Village quite quickly and you've got primary, several primary schools within walking distance. Makes life very easy. And as mentioned, the railway station is close by. There's a bus service that literally runs from around the corner. So if you don't want to walk to the station, you can easily jump on the bus. So there you go. That is house two. Hilltop View off Bentswood Crescent in Hayward Sea. It's for sale through Mansell at Taggart. If you'd like to come and have a look, give us a call. Thanks for watching.